Hi friends, welcome back to my channel SciTech. In today's video, to compare the Realme Exxon Max versus Realme GT device. So, which is the best phone to buy right now? And very soon, the Realme GT also will get released in India on the August 18th. And lot of viewers are actually very curious to buy this Realme GT, but they're thinking of even buying the Realme Exxon Max right now. I'll try to explain you: Should you buy the Realme Exxon Max, or is it worth of waiting for the Realme GT or not? So, this might be clearing all of the doubts what the users are having. So, this is what I'm going to do: in-depth comparison between both phones. In terms of specifications and all the details. So first thing, let's talk about the price range. So which is the best for the value for the money? So right now the Realme Exxon Max in the Flipkart it's available for about twenty four triple nine during this Flipkart Big Savings Day. And if you use all the credit cards and all the discount cards, you can get for about twenty three thousand five hundred rupees kind of thing in the Realme Exxon Max. So for this kind of price, you are getting really good beast, I would say. Yeah, Realme Exxon Max. But when it's come to the Realme GT. The price of this phone might become close to I think thirty three thousand or thirty four thousand. That is what I'm expecting. Maybe yes, because we did see other Snapdragon eight 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 processors. The price was close to thirty seven thousand, thirty nine thousand as well. So depending upon their price, I'm guessing maybe to give that kind of top competition with this kind of companies, the Realme might launch with kind of less price. I'm expecting maybe thirty four triple nine and thirty three triple nine. So overall, there will be difference of close to eight to ten thousand difference between these two phones. Anyway, eight to ten thousand. Take it as average. So. For this kind of eight to ten thousand, is worth of spending on the Realme GT. I would say, maybe if you are okay with your price, if you are willing to spend extra money, then definitely you can go for the Realme GT. But if you are not okay and if you don't have that kind of budget, and if you are having only budget around this kind of Realme Exxon Max, then definitely you can choose the Realme Exxon Max. The the reason is because there is not much difference between both phones except process. So yes, friends, except the process, there is not much difference. For example, regarding the display, both phones are having the Super AMOLED display. Both phones are having the same kind of screen size, same kind of refresh rate. There's nothing much interesting is happening in terms of the display. Same you are getting Realme X and Max and Realme GT. Nothing at all. So regarding the processor, obviously it's a Snapdragon 888. It's quite powerful than the Dimensity 1200. The Android benchmark score in the Dimensity 1200 comes close to 6 lakhs 90,000, 6 lakhs 8,000. Some people 7 lakhs as well. In the Snapdragon 888, it comes close to 7 lakhs 80,000, 70,000 as well. So in terms of the Android benchmark score and performance. So it's definitely I will 100% recommend the Snapdragon 888 chipset only for the performance. But we need to test how well the Realme is actually optimizing this processor in the phone. That is what I'm going to talk. So in case if you want me to buy the phone, let me know in the comment section below. Definitely I will be able to look forward to buy this Realme GT in case if you are interested. So regarding the UFS storage, same kind of UFS storage, 3.1, 3.1, nothing much difference is there. And camera also nothing much interesting, friends. To be frank, it's kind of completely same. Camera as well, so we need to test again in the real life situation. But still, on the specifications, it looks kind of same. Realme GT and the Realme Exxon Max, nothing much is happening. So camera and the display section, there is not nothing got changed. Not only that, even in the battery segment as well, battery as well, both phones are having the same 4000 mAh of battery, 4000 mAh of battery. Charging speed may be increased, like I mean, 35 minutes because of the 65 watt charger. The right now the Realme X Max is taking close to 50 minutes of charging. So 50 minutes versus 35 minutes, nothing much change. I would say in the, even in this kind of uh, charging speed. So apart from that, I cannot notice any kind of difference. Both are having the dual stereo speakers and 3.5 mm jack is present in both phones, obviously. So overall, friends, there's nothing much difference except one Snapdragon 888 processor versus Dimensity 1200. That is what the main comparison between both phones. And for that processor, are you ready to spend 8000 extra money or not? That's that is the question right now. If the Realme GT price comes to close to, if I don't know, it's not possible, but if it comes close to 32000, maybe. 32,000 after using all the bank uh, discount cards and everything, maybe it's possible to think to buy the Realme GT 5G. If the price comes to close to 35,000 and 36 triple nine, then forget you can buy the Realme Exxon Max straight for a no problem. You can save a lot of money as well. So. I do have the Snapdragon 888 processor with me, one of the phone from the MI phone, which is MI 11 device. So in in terms of the speed test and all the performance levels, I did not see much difference. Maybe for the intense intense kind of gamers, maybe for stable performance, if you want, you can definitely choose the Snapdragon. But we need to worry about even the temperatures because Snapdragon 888 processor will get a lot of heat as well. How the liquid cooling system works in this phone? That is what the question mark is. Because right now, three phones, Poco F3 GT, Realme X and Max, OnePlus Nord 2, three phones are having same processor, but one OnePlus Nord 2 will have higher temperatures. Why? 
because of the liquid cooling system these two phones has got really good but not the one place not to in this way this is a problem with the this phones all the different different phones unless you use you won't be able to get to know how is the temperatures so i need to test the realme gt before coming into the conclusion this phone doesn't have any kind of heating i need to test it in my own style in my method so uh, that is what i do believe only trusting in my own styles so this is a quick comparison friends in case if you are, don't have the budget to spend on the gt then go for the realme x1 max no problem if you are, have the budget and if you're thinking then just wait for the phone to get released i'll try to do my reviews if possible if you, a lot of viewers are interested then definitely i'll buy it otherwise i will not buy this realme gt so let me know in the comment section below friends what are your thoughts on the realme gt are you looking to buy it or not so thank you for watching this video friends and i'll see you in the next video and let's stay for more updates in case if you have any other queries let me know in the comment section below until then stay tuned bye